Right, so let's build up the styles for this URL shortener. It's very, very straightforward. We're just going to be creating a container, a form within this, and just above that header. So let's first of all start with our doc type and our HTML tags and the head of our page and our, obviously our body. So inside of the head, we're only going to do a few things. Uh, the first thing being setting the char set or the character encoding for the page. So we say meta char set UTF-8. We're also going to give this a title. And in this case, we'll just call this URL shortener. And we want to link in our style sheet because we're going to be styling uh, this page. So we'll create a style sheet reference here. And this is going to go to CSS slash global.css. I've actually got this open in my text editor here. And you can see that in my directory structure on the left, I've got CSS and global.css. So we want to wrap everything that we want to display here in a container. So let's do this now. Just indent this. So the container is going to have a class of container. And we're going to have a header at the top which is going to also have a class, so we can target this specifically. We could target H1s, but we want to keep this uh, short to a class. So shorten a URL, we'll enter in here. And just down below here, we'll create a form. So fairly straightforward with a action and a method. Let's close that off. So the action is going to go towards shorten.php shorten.php so when we submit our url this will go to shorten.php and use all of our backend functionality the method for this is going to be post and we need two input types in here um, we need an input type of url remember where browsers support this this will then validate on the front end to make sure that this is a valid url and the name of this will give a url as well we we'll also create a placeholder. So if uh, again, if browsers support this, um, it will give a sort of signifier of what should be entered here. So we'll say enter a URL here. And we'll also turn autocomplete off just so we don't get annoying uh, suggestions for what we previously typed pop up. And we will also create a submit button. And the value for this can just be shorten. So back over to our browser, let's refresh. It's looking okay, but we can do better. So let's start to bring some styling into this. Inside of global.css, we'll create a body selector here. And we want to basically just within here, create a font. So I'm gonna say 0.9 Ms, uh, Tahoma, and we'll say with the sans serif fallback. So, We'll style the title quickly because all we're doing here is we're changing the font weight to normal rather than bold. So that's the header that we created up here and that will just go, you know, to a normal font body. So now with the container, now we want this to be centered and we want all the contents of this to be centered. We're going to use the text align property for that. Now the width for this will be 100, but we'll then define a max width, which will just make sure that this is fluid but also has a maximum width so it doesn't actually reach out to 100% of the width of the container. Um, and we'll, as I mentioned, use the text align property to align everything center. And in this case, with the elements that we're using within this container, this will just center everything. We'll also then say margin zero auto to make sure that that container, whole container here sits in the middle. And there we are, that's it. Now, the last thing we've got to do, which is again fairly straightforward, is just style our form elements. Now, I'm going to be targeting these by input. Um, we may also want to just say input here with the font to change the font for the input. I'm just going to be targeting input. Um, obviously, on a, a, a normal website, you'd target these specifically, maybe with class names or within the form. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to give a generic style to inputs. So I'm going to set the padding to 10, pi uh, 10 pixels, which will just pad this out a little bit like that. And I will set the background color to white. I don't really need to do that, to be honest. Uh, in fact, yes, I do, because um, that's going to style the submit button as well, which we want to look similar to our input. So we'll set the background color here to a white color. So let's take a look at what that's done. There we are, so we've got this white background there. Let's sort these borders out now. So we'll set the border of both of these to one pixel, solid, and we'll choose a light gray color for this. 
I also want to set the margin to zero just so these sit as close together as possible. And there we are. So we've now got a nice looking form. Uh, we'll target the um, input type of URL. In this case, this is pretty bad because um, this is then going to set all inputs with the type of URL to a width of 300 pixels. But go ahead and chop and change these stars around so they suit your entire uh, application. So that's pretty much it for the styling. We've got this form, which we're then gonna go and submit this URL to this shorten.php to actually shorten this. And just up here, we're not gonna do anything yet, but we are gonna be outputting some paragraph uh, or a paragraph element just to contain any errors. And then finally, the generated URL.